Maca's guides. <laughs> hey everyone, Maca here playing Somerville, and in this video I'm going to take you through all of the missable achievements, collectibles, and all of the endings in the game in order to grab a thousand gamer score. I'll also have a separate video which will be a full game walkthrough taking you through the entire game in about two and a half hours. This game is available on Xbox Game Pass and it is a console timed exclusive which means we could see it on PlayStation in the future. This game is brought to us by some of the people who worked on games like Limbo and Inside although this is a three dimensional puzzle game more so than a platformer. Very early on in the game during chapter two checkpoint one we can grab our first achievement called world's best dad for going into the kitchen closing both of the drawers and the window. A little bit later on, we'll grab our first of 10 collectibles for the first contact achievement. This is during chapter three, checkpoint three. There's a great chapter select, by the way, in this game, so you can quickly go back. If you've missed anything, you can play the whole game blind and mop up very quickly as well. You'll come through a gate up a hill, push over the hay bale and go inside to find these little critters. These are the collectibles. A little bit later on in chapter four, checkpoint four, you will walk forward and you'll have to continue to the left to play the game, but you may notice a pretty obvious little secret path in the back. You will be able to crouch under a log and here you'll find a small secret area where we'll find our second collectible of 10. Also, this achievement does have tracking, so feel free to look up and make sure you're at 20%. A little bit later on during chapter four, checkpoint six, you'll be going through a gate and climbing up a hill. There's a pretty obvious bench here and you can interact with that bench. As soon as I saw it, I knew there would be an achievement died to it. But if you just walk up to it and you press A, your character will sit down, your dog will come and sit next to you. The achievement won't unlock until you get up though, so don't just sit there forever. Get up out of the seat once you have waited a couple of seconds. I waited about 10 seconds personally, and when I got up out of my seat, the achievement unlocked called Weary Traveler. We now move on to chapter five, checkpoint one. You'll come through and kind of go across a highway and through a sign, you'll then drop down. Uh, unfortunately, our dog will not follow us here, but they will bark a couple of times. Just walk forward and push through this little kind of puddle slash lake. And once you get to the other side, the dog will be out of sight, but they will bark. You don't need a headset for this, but you will hear it. Once you kind of reach this light pole, you just have to turn back around and go back to the dog. Now the dog won't be there, but you will be rewarded with an achievement for checking. Pretty much directly after the last achievement, Chapter five, checkpoint one, you'll walk forward past that puddle and towards a couple of porta potties. Before you get there, if you look in the back, there's a pretty obvious red car. There's some lightning bolts kind of coming out of the trunk. We're gonna walk up to it, interact with it to open the trunk and reveal the collectible inside for three out of 10. Now for the next achievement, there's a couple of different ways you can grab it, but chapter five, checkpoint three is by far the easiest. You'll jump across a car that kind of teeter totters. The alarm will go off and the spaceship will try to track you. Here you have to go and hide in the porta potty in the background and just wait until the alien UFO can't see you. Now this will last about 30 to 60 seconds. Just keep waiting until the coast is clear and then wait an extra five or 10 seconds after that. Once the coast is completely clear, you should be able to come out of the porta potty and unlock the stuck on the John achievement slash trophy for spending a certain amount of time inside. Moving on to chapter five, checkpoint four, you'll come across these two trucks on the right as soon as the chapter begins. We can find a very obvious collectible here. I'd be surprised if you missed it. But to the right of the dumpsters, there's a little fence. You can move over the piece of wood to go inside and find a collectible here. 
Chapter 5-5, we can grab the kind of blue achievement, and here you'll use some lights to clear a ladder. You'll go up that ladder and then just follow the path. You'll go across a gap here, and there will be a second ladder directly in front of you. You can't miss this. This is on the main path of the game, so don't worry. There's just a specific interaction we'll need to do here in a second. Climb the second ladder, and here you'll see a switch. Open up the switch. Again, you have to do this. But once you're holding the switch, just press the left trigger to turn the stage blue, hold it for a couple of seconds, and then let it go, and unlock the achievement. Congratulations. At the very beginning of Chapter 5, Checkpoint 6, you will slide down this little incline, and there will be a pretty obvious porta potty to your left that is shaking. So we're going to go up to it and open it up to reveal a couple of collectibles inside. We are halfway done with collectibles. We've pretty much reached the midpoint of the game, Chapter 6-4. You'll come up a ladder with a flare in your hand. Then you'll enter this kind of uh, narrow cave. As you're walking through near the very beginning, there will be a little bit of a shortcut path kind of behind you. If you walk into that path and then go left and through, you'll find a collectible. Chapter 6, Checkpoint 7, you'll be coming up and raising the water with you in order to be able to exit to the left and then climb up that kind of waterfall. But instead of doing that, use the right trigger to harden the uh, fluid on top of the water. And then you'll be able to basically create a bridge to the right hand side. This is pretty obvious if you got your eyes open and you're paying attention. But if you walk all the way through to the right, there's a little bit of a cave entrance. And if you go in there, uh, the controls can be a little bit wonky. But once you go inside, that should be number seven out of ten for the collectibles. Moving on to 6-8, you'll use the minecart to open up the door. After completing that puzzle, another really easy collectible, pretty hard to miss as long as you do it in the right order. You basically end the chapter here, I believe, by going through this narrow cave, and there will be a very obvious ladder in front of you. We're not going to take that ladder. Instead, we're going to take the very obvious path that leads behind that ladder to the right-hand side. Here you'll find a couple of alien orb dudes that are just chillin'. You'll wake up in chapter 9-1, you'll be injured and you'll kind of have to navigate through this like grocery store slash warehouse. And typically in order to proceed with the chapter, you would go to the far right side. But instead, we're going to go to the far left side, which is probably the side you'll see first. You can move over the cart, which will reveal the door. If you push through the door, you'll find a box. The box will move around, but if you can catch up to it and interact with it, you'll knock it over, revealing the collectible inside. The last collectible can be found in chapter 10. Once you leave the grocery store with your wife, you'll walk by a tractor trailer. And before you reach the red bus, you'll want to take a right hand turn clear all of the goo away from the door. You'll be able to pry open the door to get inside of the store and find your final collectible. You'll grab an achievement here. At this point, we basically have like five different types of endings we can grab in the game. Each one of them has an achievement tied to it. The first one we can grab is during chapter 13, checkpoint three. It's called resignation. You'll come through and kind of bury a tunnel. And as you're going, you'll eventually reach a couch with your wife on it. Make sure that you don't use the left trigger here. Instead, just walk up to the couch and interact with it. Here, your character will put the flare down and sit down. Then the screen will slowly fade to black. You'll get a short little cutscene. You'll slowly fade away from this cutscene and back into chapter 13, checkpoint three. And as soon as you kind of respawn, you will grab the achievement resignation.
We then reach the actual ending of the game in chapter 14. You'll come up to this ring of people, hold A to interact with them and hold hands. And there are four different kind of input variations we can put in to get four different types of endings. Let's start with the easiest one, which I think is the bad ending. And that's War of the Worlds. Hold your left trigger and your right trigger to make the color purple and just continue to hold this color. It will basically just make everything explode and the screen will fade to black. The game will end. Don't worry. You can just pause the game chapter select and restart to do the other endings. The next ending is Resignation Reprise, which I think is probably one of the kind of neutral or neutral good endings. Here, we're just gonna repeat what the lights say to us back to them. So in the first instance, that was blue, red, blue. And then in the second, third, and fourth instance, I just had to do blue, blue, red. I would just repeat back to them exactly what they did to me. This will take you obviously like almost a minute probably and just be calm and take your time. Try Don't try to rush it or anything and make sure that the loop is fully connecting every time and that the sound you're putting back to them is kind of the same sound they're giving to you. And as soon as you do all four of these steps, which I have listed on screen just for ease, you will spawn a small house in the middle then you can just disconnect from the ring of people and walk into that house in order to gain this ending. The next ending we can grab is family first, which I would classify as neutral or neutral good. And in this one, you basically sacrifice yourself so that your family can survive. And for this one, what you wanna do is in the first two instances, repeat the colors back to the uh, monuments. But in the third instance, just do blue, blue, blue. This will spawn an orb in the middle on a platform. You can then walk up to this orb. You can sacrifice your blue energy, your red energy, and your purple energy into this orb in order to destroy the orb and set free your wife and child inside. Unfortunately, that takes away all of your energy and uh, that's how you can grab the family first ending. Also a super special thank you to people on True Achievements who were the ones who discovered all of these combinations. I did test a lot of them, but I wasn't able to find the family first one.
Last but not least, we can grab the understanding achievement, which is undoubtedly the good, good ending. Everyone survives and everyone's happy. Now, this one is pretty complicated, but I've put the inputs you need on screen. Again, special thank you to everyone on True Achievements for figuring this out. I'll leave a link down below to their solution. I would have never been able to figure this out. But basically, there's like a whole language going on. You know, blue means something, red means something, and purple means something. Uh, and there's obviously deeper meaning to this game. But in the first instance, you're going to repeat back what they say to you, which is blue, red, blue. In the second instance, you're going to do blue, 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 purple, purple, purple. Make sure you do them, you know, at a pretty steady rhythm as well. In the third instance, you'll do blue, 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 red, purple, purple. And then in the fourth instance, I have no idea how exactly this works. I'll try to figure out why this works for the full game walkthrough. where I'll have a lot more commentary about the game. But in the last instance, we do blue, 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 red, purple, purple, red, red, red. And then this will basically do the understanding achievement. In this ending, it basically seems like we are able to peacefully communicate with the aliens. We're able to reunite with our wife and child. And then we're able to go through a portal where I would imagine we're able to return to a normal life back at home. Although I do think that this game is open to a lot of interpretation. Maybe you guys understand this ending a little bit differently. But don't forget to drop a like on the video. Share this video with a friend. Congratulations on your 1000 gamer score and uh, drop a like. I'll see you soon. Special thank you to everyone on Patreon for supporting the show. Peace.